Welcome to Ring Slam British Wrestling. Paul Lincoln, who died aged 78, made his name as the wrestler Dr. Death and later found a second career as a promoter and co-owner of the Two Ice Coffee Bar in Soho, London, that helped to launch rock and roll in Britain. Born James MacDonald Lincoln, he was the son of a Sydney sign writer, and after leaving school ran a small gym in the city. He started wrestling on booths run by the Australian showman Roy Bell, where his role was as a plucky schoolboy challenging the professionals. Then, under the name Elmo Lincoln, he wrestled at the old Leechhard Stadium, in the days when visiting Americans topped the bill. Way to England to seek fame and fortune, Lincoln regularly wrestled in Singapore with the legendary American chief Little Wolf in reality an aging and increasingly alcoholic Mexican he arrived in England at 19 and, while working as a bodyguard to a currency dealer, wrestled down the bill to no great effect, as Paul or James Lincoln until the Scottish promoter and wrestler George Kidd suggested he wore a mask. Some run-of-the-mill wrestlers can be transformed by a mask, Lincoln was one of them wrestlers. At 5 feet 8 inches and less than 14 stone, neither Lincoln nor his tubby alter ego, Dr. Death from Hollywood, possessed the physique of a heavyweight such as his great Sydney friend Ray Hunter, or the technique of the great, shooters, judo, Ol Hayes or George Kidd himself. However, once in a mask, Lincoln's posture changed and he appeared to be their physical equal. He became one of the great masked men in the ring. As the years went by, and more and more Dr. Deaths appeared in halls throughout Britain, Lincoln was the best, often imitated, never equaled. That was some history of British wrestling for you. I hope you did enjoy it. Keep watching to take a look at some old wrestling posters. If you want to see more of me, give us a subscribe. Thank you for watching Ring Slam Wrestling.